I'm playing catch up with my brain all the time. So, <clears throat> like Ben Kingsley, Ben Kingsley is an album that was in my head that that's been in my head for almost twenty odd years. You know what I mean? Mad. Um, so all the snippets and everything, I already knew what I was gonna do. Um, but again, it was just me physically catching up to that idea, mm. waiting for the right time, I suppose, and the right producer. Um, thank God for Michael Parkinson. Big you up Michael I mean? Parkinson. Yeah. Legacy cause. holder. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, you know, so yeah, I'm always playing catch up. Killer, killer, podcast. Killer, killer, official .com. <laughs> You need the Kellervision app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct Central London, as central as you need to be, cheese to be. You don't want to be anywhere else, baby boy. Central London, as central as you need to be, as you know. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight to the regulars that have got the Keller Vision app. Free download iPhone, Android for your street culture, sport and arts. Inside the ride today, and I'm donning a box freshly gifted. If you ain't uh, watching and listening, you're missing out. Hit the YouTube. Uh, we have a lyricist inside the place <sighs> West Side Gun, Planet Asia. <sighs> just to name a few. I mean, we're going to get into it deep, you know, Sean Price, you know, just, just casual name dropping. I'll pick them up later. Trust me. <laughs> the fly hooligan inside the place. Oh what Appreciate are you saying? I'm great, you know, that's what I'm saying. How are you? Man? I'm good, brother. That's what's up. I'm good. That's brilliant. I, I feel like. And this is probably a, f a fault of my own. We've probably crossed paths in most of the places, but... I'm glad you said that. Yeah. When we were kids, we, um, we had a freestyle outside of Scala. And um, we were freestyling. And then <laughs> I was like, yo, give me some of that. Give me some of that definitive joke shit. And then you hit me off with the um, company flow beat. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> 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 That one right there. You Go on, me bust me, sir. I, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. I can't beatbox no more, man. Yo, you, you went in with that, man. And yeah, we, we had a free... It was like so many of us outside. And then um, this dude from from the South, like America, America, like I think he was from New Orleans or something. Mm. He joined in. I killed that shit, man, and it was dope. It was dope. And I ain't ever seen you since. <laughs> <laughs> like a night in the dark, coffee goes. <laughs> Ninja. So it was just about, it was about time. It was only a matter Absolutely. of time. Absolutely. Those freestyle cypher situations, which I'm, I've always been so privy to over the years, as I'm sure you have, the, they are the, 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 the beginning grounds of like learning the, the, the act, of, act of war. Mm. It's a survival of the fittest. It's mm. like cutting your chops and... You must have done a lot of them and experienced a lot of uh, yeah. clashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did, I did. You know, like, good friend of mine is like a brother to me, man. Kaiser. You oh, know, I'll take Kaiser. Our early, like, our, early, our most earliest encounter, mm. you know what I mean, um, was in was in my golf, myself, another MC. I can't, I'm trying to remember who it was, but, mm. oh, it was probably, um, I can't remember, but Kaiser was in the back seat and... That was when we were, we formally met each other, and then we were just going back and forth for like three, four hours. It was crazy, but that's that's how we met each other back then. Mm. You know what I mean? That's how we'd we'd get acquainted. Oh you know God, I, mean? I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like almost like sniffing each other's scent. Excuse the <laughs> analogy. Do you know what I mean? So it's like you're really testing the the yeah. waters. How yeah, far yeah. can you push this this thing? Uh, beatboxers do it as well. They do it with their, you know, they they, they got this level of vernacular and it mm. sounds that. Do you mm. know what I mean this is a whole different language? But yeah. that's the that's the sport in it all, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mad. Um, so as I mentioned before, prior to us, I was gifted this gourmet deluxe pizza box. Come on, son! And inside it, I'm going to open it up. So for those of you listening, all right? Bad luck. But for those watching, you know what time it is. We have, yo, we got. I'm doing the gift wrapping. You know, these things get a lot of views on, on social media, you understand. So what we got here, we got the... That's a oh, t-shirt. Oh, damn, yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that's, that's a, a sickest. Yeah. Yo, we got a... It's like yellow uh, t-shirt. That's a big ghost. Um, with a big ghost from Mario Brothers, right? Yeah, like, that's the ghost from Mario Brothers, yeah. But there's a, he's, a, he's a producer 
from um, from Canada. His name's Big Ghost. Big Ghost. He made a massive name for himself um, when he was just trolling the internet. Um, people thought he was actually Ghostface Killer, just like cussing off all oh, the artists and stuff. So but he's an ill, ill, ill producer. And um, Gourmet Deluxe has put out a few projects for him as well. Fantastic. And this is for Conway's, um, one of Conway's most recent releases, um, If It Bleeds, It Can Be Killed. And um, yeah, we, we we put the fedora hat on the ghost this time round. Oh my uh, god, I can't deal with that. See that yeah, the, yeah. this is this is some NFT level business, you know. Yeah, well. <laughs> and of course, we've got the legendary Ray Winston album inside uh, vinyl. Come yes, on, sir. son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Curiously, has Ray Winston heard this? I don't think so. I wish, you know what I mean? That would be dope. Ray Winston needs to hear this. And Ben Kingsley. I mean, yeah, we've got the for Ben sure. Kingsley Yeah, right, respectfully now, you know so, yeah. yeah, yeah We're yeah, definitely yeah. getting to that. Um, yeah, yeah. And then we've got, like, so fanzine yeah. business. Yeah. yeah, like that. So that breaks oh. down the story. So I've got a track called Woo Baby, um, <laughs> and I've got three, three versions now. And that's the that was that was to mark the third version, and it features Don Pacino on there. And it tells the story as to how I came about, you know, um, doing... Doing that saga, basically. Oh my god! Yeah. The artwork on your albums is sick. It, it, is it Crumb that's doing them? Is Crumb doing them? Nah, Who's man. Doing I wish it was Crumb. Yeah. I, I fucks with Crumb yeah, heavy. Yeah, like, yeah, I think heavy. he's ill, man. But Brighton nah, man. that was um, funny enough. That Ray Winston cover was initially designed by myself. I mm. did that on my phone, and then I sent it <laughs> to my boy Rings of Saturn, mm -hmm. and um, he, you know, he just done a very nice version for me. <laughs> man of my own heart, he, isn't it? Yeah, it's he like, cleaned it up, man. Yeah, yeah, he cleaned yeah, up yeah. for me. And um, and explain this. So this is the it's a five inch version of that's a that's a um, that's an EP called Michelin, and um, it was produced um, by Uncle Tim, mm -hmm. um, and he he's also actually a Michelin chef. So yeah, he produced it, and it's presented in a a, a menu style mm -hmm. as well. And um, yeah, man, it's it's another dope dope EP. And all of this is presented in a handy dandy save your ass pizza box. Deluxe. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you, Check that busy. <laughs> that is fuego, man. I am fucking. Cheers so much, bro. That's uh, don't great. watch that. It's all good. Without question, thank you, thank you. Without question, uh, the attention to detail on these things is pretty, pretty in depth. Um, and like you say, to, to, to have an idea and immediately respond to it on your phone, it speaks volumes, doesn't it? Of like how far you, how much your vision and how, how, how that plays in your head and you're able to control it. Does it was that something you always... I'm, I'm, I'm playing catch up with my brain all the time. So <clears throat> like Ben Kingsley, Ben Kingsley is an album that was in my head, that, that's been in my head for almost 20 odd years. You know what I mean? Mad. Um, so all the snippets and everything, I already knew what I was going to do. Um, but again, it was just me physically catching up to that idea, mm -hmm. waiting for the right time, I suppose, and the right producer. Um, thank God for Michael Parkinson. Big you know up, Michael I mean? Parkinson. Yeah. So Legacy because, holder. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, you know, so yeah, I'm always playing catch up. So w when I know how to use certain things, it just makes it a bit that that easier and quicker for me and I'm a minimalist as well I love mm -hmm. I love minimalism as well so it just it just makes the 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 the, the creative journey a lot easier and quicker as well yeah I feel that um, it's one yeah. of the conversations we have on the podcast all the time and I, that's something I always stand by is like with restriction comes creativity you know the more you can restrain and doing things to you know with outboards and plugins and da -da. Mm -hmm. no no just kind of and Michael's a great example of that as a producer. Yeah. Like he knows the he knows the recipe and the sources that he uses. Mm -hmm. And every time, bang, bang, you know what I mean? Exactly. That's exactly. what's kind of kept a consistency on your product in your production and and sonic sound, hasn't it? It's, it's Absolutely. I mean, because I was a producer myself. I was I was exactly that and that's where the whole Woo Baby thing came from as well. Um when I met Rizza back in two thousand and one, um he 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 showed DJ Pogo brought out his um MPC 2000 Excel, and this was at Subterranean, Labrador Grove. And we was, we, so I was I with Militia show, Street yeah. Squad. Mm -hmm. I was with Militia Street Squad at the time. Oh, it's like 40 of us, red t-shirts, you know what I'm saying? Dude, and, that's a club. <laughs> yeah. And like, we were, we, we were the street team for the Digital Bullet album. Sick. And, um, you know, I got to talk to him, you know, like, we were mad cool. And um, DJ Pogo brings out his um, MPC 2000 Excel for rehearsal. And me being as curious as I was at the time, I asked him what it was. And, you know, he literally just showed me how he programmed um, Ice Cream, if I'm not mistaken. 
and um, sequenced it, etc. Oh, and then that was me on on the production. That you know, that, right after that, I, I got into producing and making beats. So that that also helped me, you know, create a sound in my head. And it wasn't up until two thousand and seven or nine where I was like, yo. I want to just go heavy at drumless beats. Mm. And um, in 2009, I released, uh, no, I, I I finished recording an album called Devil May Cry. This was when I was Iron Braids. And the and I produced most of that album. Baby J mastered it for me. <laughs> um, Bad man, Baby and, J. And um, I produced a track on there, which was like purely drumless. And mm. it was a remix for my single called Golden Legacy. And yeah, so ever since then, I'd always been into the whole drumless beats. Mm. I've always been into drumless beats, but yeah, I've that. At, at that point, at that point, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go mm. in on it. Then I just regrouped myself. I put out a few more projects in a, on an experimental level. Um, I wasn't particularly happy with the outcome of them. I felt I boxed myself in, so I just regrouped myself. Came up, you know, came up with a plan in my head again. I'm I'm terrible at writing notes and stuff, so everything's in my head. Even when even when I record tracks now, I just I, I say what I'm saying and then I learn the lyrics afterwards. Mm. So yeah, mm. you know it, it's, it's more frenetical, isn't it? You're working with the you're w- working with syllables and um, the scan of the the lyrics as mm. opposed to what does rhyme this word? It's, it's the vibe word. as well. Yeah. It's the vibe. You know, when when you're doing it raw like that, I find when I'm doing it raw like that, my cadence is a lot more genuine. Mm. Um, and 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 the vibe, the vibe is a lot more. Um, it's it's a lot more apparent. Mm. You know, it's mm. a lot more apparent mm, for sure. You know? um, let me go back to the ice cream because you're there with Rizza, <laughs> mm-hmm. and he's presented pretty much the ice cream backing track to you. Yeah. It's broken down components. Yeah. How 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 easy? How simplified was his production value in that? Like, what what did you learn from that? What did you take? Because I'm really curious to know. He, he you back know he, end of that. he basically said how you know how he chopped it up. And in fact, if you, oh man, I can't remember when it was, but Questlove used to do a DJ tour at some point. I can't remember how how far back we're going now. Maybe in 2012, 2013, he would literally stop his set and talk about ice cream. Yeah. And he would break down, he would play this sample and then break down how <laughs> oh, Rizza bro. chopped up this. Because Rizza said it, he said, like, I chopped this shit up like hard to make this beat. And you know, all it was very, it was very, very quick because he was they were rushing him as well to get his rehearsal through and you know, all that stuff. So it was like, yo, so this is where this is where you um, so the, on these pads is where you would um assign your samples to, etc. Mm. And then on on the on the screen you would see the sample the wavelength of the sample and stuff like that so it was it was quite detailed and you know um very rushed as well mm. i wish i had more Crash time was, man but you should video that shit you know pfft, this is the thing man you know it was it was it was so many people remember that day as well because it's your crew was it wasn't it um yeah it was like pfft, the whole crew but it was memorable as well because Rizza brought on Skinny Man. He killed it. <gasps> he brought on so many other MCs as well. And then he brought me on and then, shit, mm. I fucking killed it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. You know Come on, saying? son. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Come on. You know, <laughs> yeah. I remember, the, um, I forget her name though, but the, the I think she was the manager at Koch. Mm-hmm. At the time, she calls me backstage and she's like, oh, what are you doing now? Are you signing this and that? Oh, I love that. So there I was thinking that, yo, <laughs> man's going to get signed and, da, 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 and then shit, nothing came up. No, but it's it, always yeah. nice. Isn't it? It, it, what it means is that uh, it resonated. And that's the, yeah. It's a bit of a masterstroke from Riz's point of view of like getting a whole crew collective that are already, you know, operational on the street to do this street teaming. That's a genius move, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, Riz has always been ahead of his time as well. I mean, mm. when, when people were still on like I don't know the 808 he was on Pro Tools you know <laughs> so what I mean true. Man, man, the guy made flipping yeah. you know Protect Your Neck on Pro Tools you know what I'm saying so he was always he, he's he's been a, a man that's mm. always been ahead of the game mm-hmm. you know what I mean so yeah R- Rizza man Rizza yeah. and I think like a lot of curiosity when there's no other connection and you're in a place like Shaolin or, you know, on an island mm. and there's no, you know, there's no referencing. You can do something completely different. And like with you not actually using beats within your production, like how, how did you come to that conclusion? How did you come to that being a thing? Was that what, not using drums? Yeah. Um, 
since birth, I've only ever heard classical music. Right. So I've right. always been susceptible to to just the violins, That's the so melodies, cold. the you know, not necessarily. I've I've always loved drums. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but the melody has always caught me. You know, I evolved to a stage where it's more of a sound now. If I hear a certain sound, um, it could be a snare, it could be a woman coughing, you know what I'm saying, on this beat. If that energy grabs me, that's what I'm going to write to. I'm not going to write to everything else. I'm just going to mm. write to that particular sound. So therefore, when, when, I, when I hop on a drumless beat, you know, with just that sound, like Las, Las Vontoya, mm. you know, when you hear that song, mm. it's... It's it's just an open mm -hmm. it's an open space for me, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I like the freedom. I like the and gourmet the, trap as well, you know. Yeah, go, yeah, gourmet trap. I took the piss, mate. Straight. Yeah, we literally. <laughs> uh, you did, and that. you know what was really interesting about that tune, particularly hearing it for the first time, is you had to. This is just this is just my studio head coming on. You had to go in on the verses, almost where the syllables created the pattern, the, the pattern, beat. Absolutely, that shit was. Yeah. That's that's the whole idea. It's actually quite ahead of its time, bro. Like, if I'm really honest with you, it kind of reminded me of a similar kind of conceptual idea as that, um, you know, that Yin Yang Twins. Wait, were they whispering? Yes, wait. Do you yes, know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, it yes. It had yes, that yes. kind of that attention vibe, to detail. That vibe. But you see, with them, they had the, their sub. Mm. They had the sub keeping that <laughs> rhythm there. Yeah, yeah. That was. That's an incredible. Personally, I think that beat is incredible. I am with you. Like, it needs incredible. more love. It needs more yeah, yeah, recognition. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. And and it's very um. The, the angle they took, you know, with that, I'm, I'm, and I, I mean, not just the, the, the lyrics, but the, the delivery, you know, mm. the thought of that delivery. I, I personally, I don't know if they were, if they were on some codeine or what, like, <laughs> but it was, it was ill, like, I thought that was mad cold, like, I thought that was mad cold. And it's, there's nothing wrong with drawing inspiration for, because that's what hip hop is. Hip hop is a relationship, you know. Um, yeah. Just like a relationship with your partner, you guys are going to pick up your traits from each other. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you like know, that. You're going to pick up traits and you're going to you're gonna meld that within your characteristics and then you're going to portray those traits mm. in your own way. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. As, as much as I'm a woo head, you know, I'm, I'm a music head. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And you influence that. You've let that filter that. You say the classical music, yeah. even with the Yin Yang. Strauss is my favorite. Like he's he's oh, rowdy. Like my God. Tchaikovsky as well. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Proper. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm. You know. Cop Copping. Uh, come on. Bro, come on. Beethoven. You know, we could go all day. Yo, like, you know I'm, I'm going to some Sky Arts for that <laughs> shit. Like I'm there until late if I see that sort you of already thing. Already know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like fire, man. Sky it's Arts, fire, me, man. And then when you when you got some beautiful art pieces as well to look at yeah. whilst that's playing, it's like. It's, it's, it's heaven on earth, man. You've just kind of connected some dots for me with that because actually when you think about hip-hop and its DNA, it's the, 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 the you know, old school de details of like when you go into a church and there's a, you know, there is this like Jay Strauss or, you know, Mozart or whatever. The, the, all of the decor, the, the ambiance, the setting, everything. And, it, and it's the same with hip-hop. And it's probably the last bastion of like of of a subculture where they act, it, it is the environment's considered. Do you know what they call hip hop now? The new renaissance. So <laughs> what did we have in art, especially Michelangelo's day? Mm -hmm. yeah. Renaissance, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 they yeah. refer to that as the renaissance. For sure. So here's where we are now. Here's that. And when you listen to music then, it was the choir. It was the voice. It was the violins mm. or the or the um, or the piano fortes. You see what I'm saying? Oh or God. the harps. It wasn't. No. <laughs> you know no. what I'm saying? It it was it was more instrumentalized. It was more, you know, um, it was less percussion mm. and more instrument. You mm. know, um, and a lot of people are are jumping on the whole drumless thing. I know. I've said it a few times, I don't want to address those people, but there are, you know, like drums matter people out mm. there. And, yo, I love you lot, you know what I'm saying? Because I love drums too. Mm -hmm. it's, it's no problem. But, you know, I love what I love as well. And if you if you don't like it, that's cool, man. You know mm. what I'm saying? It's not it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? Some mm. some people are like, this ain't football, bruv. Like, relax yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, some people just carry on extra with the support sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a little bit too extra. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. you know, people need to just chill, relax. You know, but the beauty from my position is, you know, I saw it a long time ago. Um, I saw it a very long time ago. And I acted on it a little bit too late, I feel. But it was still ahead of a lot of people. What's that? Um, 
and, and you know just the whole sound you know this whole drumless stuff mm. you know drumless beats mm. um i call it gourmet rap you know mm. what i'm saying um but like there's something i envisioned back in 2001 after meeting rizza um you know because when you check it a, a lot of um all i got is you by ghostface okay, okay. is there any drums on that no well hold on wait a minute um but I also was thinking, as you were saying it, uh, Kanye West, he does these loops and they don't have anything and he's just rapping over the, what, um, the loop. Falling. Um, yeah. what's, it, what's it called? Falling in Love or something like that. Yeah. Um, the, the, the track with um, he's, the video, he's got Kim Kardashian yeah, that's right. on That's him, exactly like, what I'm thinking. Drumless. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just a like, loop of the It's just a loop. Like, it's, it's, always, it's always been like that. Um, you know, uh, Capadonna. You, mm. the, the list goes on, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Dr like drumless music or drumless hip hop or whatever mm. drumless beats have always been there it's just that they didn't put it these artists who were doing it before didn't put it to the forefront like yo I'm gonna give you five six seven in fact I'm gonna give you a whole fucking album of drumless beats mm. you know what I'm saying no one really done that until you know um, until Rock Marcy came along um, and, and Planet Asia as well mm. um, but Rock Marcy I feel with the whole drumless stuff, he took it a lot further. Um, mm. And then, you know, your West Side Guns and Con your West Side Gun and Conway came along mm. with Darringer um, mm. and Camouflage Monk. See, I know I know that issue because I'm a part of that. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So when when all that was kicking off 2014, 2015, along with Hus Kingpin as well, mm. and Smooth, mm. the winners. People don't realise how um, far back in they've, they've yeah, gone. Yeah, it's not to a last week thing. Nah, this is, yeah, they this feel is, like it, but it ain't. Yeah, no, nah, it really Griselda does because it's still it's it's still in its embryonic stage. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not something that um, you know, like I said, it feels new, but it's 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 not old either. But mm. it, it's mature. You know what mm. I'm saying? It's maturing. Um, so yeah, like I was, you know, I was in the midst of all of that, and yeah, it's um, it's beautiful to see now because I I remember only what four years ago, people were bitching about you know the drumless beats and stuff like mm -hmm. that, and you know next thing you know, those same people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they come. They come again. They come the eventually. But it's all good. That's, I'm not mad at any of that. I used to be, but then I realized how. He's just laughing gonna be at it. He's not mad. I'm not He's mad. Like, nah, who really don't get mad? Like, <laughs> I, I congratulate and and I elevate, man. You know what I mean? That's me. Do you think the USP on that, the non, you know, the non beat beats, because uh, that's a proposition. Was that a, was that an because how like. <laughs> The collaborations you've worked alongside, the artists you've reached out to and you've actually done tunes with, they must have seen that as a as a format that was worth exploring, right? I believe so. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I don't want to hot up nobody, man, but a lot of the time they're taking a chance, mm. they're betting on this horse mm. and, and they want to see this horse win mm. the race. You know what I mean? That's how I'm going to look at it, whatever... I, I, you know, I'm not a mind reader or nothing like that. There ain't no Mystic Meg over here. I'm just gonna go by the vibe and 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 the outcome of the songs, and and whatever else comes after that. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Um, my my job is to prove them right. Mm. That's yeah, 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 you know yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you have a mission brief, and that's the most important yeah, thing. Yeah. Or well, you just yeah, you've got a, you've got to have a vision. Um, but not a lot of people that I can think of in the UK scene have connected with such. You know, widely known US artists to this degree forecast in advance. You know, like how did they? How did these even come about? How do? What do you just connect with them? I mean, I'm, I wouldn't want you to get. You know, I wouldn't want you to get into your, your trade secrets. But they're, they're, to a lot of people, they'd be here thinking, "Well, if I was Kells, I'd ask him that question." So I'm gonna ask that question. <laughs> but how do you go about it? I mean, it's like, is this forthright, dogged? Go for it. I want you to go. I want you to go back into that story. Um, of when you sent those that, that, those bits of pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it for? Who was it for and why no, did you right. do that? No, so here's the story, right? So when I was about 16 or 17, I, I, I took it upon myself to find all the addresses of the DJs that I wanted to have my mixtape. I did about 20 of them and I put them all in jiffy bags. But I found it to catch their attention. So what I did on, on the jiffy bag, I would decorate it with a theme. So it'd be like the glitter, the, the disco version. And I'd put it full of like glitter and all sorts of stuff. So, you know, party popper shit. And I'd just put it in. So when they opened it, they'd be like, fucking all this shit everywhere. 
that's the impact I want. So one of them was a pizza. So I got like <laughs> bread and just like fucking slammed it with tomato ketchup, some jack and one in a jiffy bag and sent it off to DJ first rate. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that's my point. Yeah. That's my point. Got you it, had yeah. a mission. Yeah. You wanted to do that. Mm, you see what yeah, I'm saying? You yeah. had a vision. Mm. Your vision was, I want these DJs to have my mixtape and I want them to remember me. Mm. I don't want them to just pass it by because mm-hmm. they can tell you they get hundreds of tapes mm. all day long. Mm. They can't remember who the fuck it was. Mm. But I remember that fucker put glitter in my fucking <laughs> shit and I got glitter <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, yeah. That was Killer Keller, weren't it? Yeah. The fucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, so <laughs> yeah. it's that. It's that mentality. Mm. Is that mentality. Is those are parallel roads, man. There's mm. nothing different. There's mm. no fucking trade secret here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's, do you have a vision? Are you going to act on it? That's your choice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's not... Come on. It's not m- more complicated than that. It's a mm. spag ball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah, ain't yeah. trying to detangle wires here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's It's as simple as that. I want to make history. I want to make history mm. by hook or by crook. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's that's my heart. I love hip hop. Hip hop has saved my life on many occasions. Mm. I just want to give back to the next generation mm. and the generation mm. after. Mm. I want to give them an alternative. You don't have to do grime. You like grime, but you don't have to do it. You like Afrobeat. You don't have to do that mm. either. Mm. There's, yeah, yeah. There's, there's gourmet rap, man. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. And it's not difficult. Find yourself a nice loop. Say some fly shit over that. And hey, maybe you can make some money for yourself. Nice and easy. Nice, nice and easy. easy. We don't have to get complicated about it. You know. Let's 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 make some history, man. But I would say this much: what you've gone and done here, and I know this is a lane that you've carved. And but all of this, it, you, you, brand-wise you just, and sonically, and it all makes sense. What you've done, and there will always be, uh, you know, cultural favourites. You know, the, the cult classics. There'll be the the street favourites, the people. You know, big up Skinny Man, big up Farmer, all the old school guys mm. as well. What you've managed to do, though, is you've managed to hit a vibration that kind of defers you, although your foot's still in it, it kind of defers you from that, and you're actually in the higher category of those guys that you, you know, instinctively were just like, yeah, 2015, I'll just hit them up. I've got this gourmet thing, I'm going to give it a go. Now they've blown, you're, you're, you're on the slipstream and you're actually doing something different. It doesn't feel... It doesn't. It, it doesn't feel regional. It feels like it's something. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm, it feels mm. like a whole different thing. Yeah, which is good. And that's that's what it's supposed to be. You know, if, even if even if you don't like gourmet rap, you know, it's it's a thing where like you know what I like the idea of it. I like the idea of slipstreaming. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I like the idea of creating my own lane. Mm. You know, it, Grime did it. Yeah, Wiley and Dizzy did it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wiley was making R&B beats. Mm, 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 Dizzy was a jungle DJ. Mm, mm, mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And they went from that to now historical figures, mm. OBEs and all that shit. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And and it's 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 right there, man. It's, there's no secret. Is how you know how bad you want it, like you know, or or how how often are you willing to press your fuck it button? Mm. That's what I put it down to. I got a, I got a nice, beautiful fuck it button mm-hmm. and I press that fuck all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck it. Up. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you now, man, one thing I will say about the British and you talk about Dizzy and Wiley, the whole British scene, um, I think it's maybe it was of a handicap because we weren't, you, you know, it was probably nice for American hip hop to hear British people do it, but we were never going to c- cut through in the same way than if we were to create our own genre ourselves. What's happened now in hip hop over in the US is because they only know that one genre, it's getting the more water's, water's getting muddied because, you know, mumble rap's there and then comes this other thing and this other thing, but they're still calling it hip hop and all the hip hop guys, the older guys that don't like and shit. We're very lucky because we've been able to carve different things. At no point did, did Wiley or Dizzy say, no, this grime is drum and bass now. It's just you make your own thing, and and what you've done there is very clever. You've you've created its own place. Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. There's, and there's nothing. And there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. you know because I, I guess I've always, I guess that comes from being in a place where like, I've always um, wanted to prove something to myself. Mm. It's not. It's it's genuinely not about anybody else. It's just about myself. Like I said, I'm. In my head, in this conversation already, I've had like five ideas go through my head. 
Do you understand mm. what I'm saying? It's that, it's that bad. Mm. I don't know if it's a condition or what, but it's that bad, you know, because this how this how much I love it. Mm. This is how much I live for Obsessiveness. it. Obsessiveness. Yeah, yeah it, damn near, yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I don't, you know, it's not, um, I don't sleep, man. You know what I'm saying? It, the ideas are constantly there. It doesn't leave my head. You see what I'm saying? And, wow. and, and unless I act on it, whether it fails or succeeds, I don't care. I, I just want to, I just have to do it. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's like, if we're now talking about Ben Kingsley, my God, imagine how much more projects I've got. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because that was incubating for like 20 years. That you said. Exactly. And I recorded it. I recorded it. Um, I recorded it in 2020. I recorded it in 2020. Wow. Um, artwork was done in 2019. So the artwork was even done before Mad. I recorded it. Really? The lyrics were the lyrics were in my head. Um, artwork was done in 2019, recorded in 2020, um, because I needed a, let's say, um, an exhale. Mm-hmm, it, mm-hmm. it was therapy for me because at the time I was going through something deep. Um, I think at that time um, my nephew was kidnapped. <gasps> um, don't want to go into that, but it was. He came back though, right? With, with Huli, yeah, yeah, he's back. He's safe. He's he's beautiful. He's great. Even Ray Winston, <laughs> hey, Ray Winston. I recorded Ray Winston in the process of my mother passing away. Oh. But you see, the thing is, it's like the, the 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 tragedies are often. My resilience is next level, man. Mm. Like you know, so the tragedies is what push me, and then the hip hop is where it saves my life. Hip hop mm. is mm. that that partner that will sit down and listen to everything you've got to say, you know. Yeah, she, she'll just listen to you. Mm. She won't talk back. She won't interrupt. Mm. She won't come with any ideas, any mm. suggestions. She just listens. She sits there and she listens. And that's why I owe her everything. God, that's good. Huh? Um, obsessive, compulsive, turning out content, firing around. <laughs> Get back in the studio. Do it again. Repeat, repeat. Uh, there, is this new cu- there is this new culture for this sort of thing. And I think Griselda definitely... They make you look at your inner self so far as your work output goes. They've got this thing down there. It's essentially street operations. They're just applying it to the, the, the business ethic of, of releasing records. Yes. But when you're compulsive obsessive as well, like this comes into like the category of, yo, you're really putting out a lot of stuff. Do you, do you have a structure to how you do things? Um, my only structure is plan ahead. Uh, Prepare uh, way ahead. That's yeah. that's my only structure. Other other than that, it's art, man. Art has no boundaries. It has no rules. Yeah. It has no time. That's what I'm saying. It, you know, like I said, it, it, Ben Kingsley's two years old. Mm. Mm. You know, prior to release date. You see what I'm saying? I just need all of you to check that out. You know, yes, yeah. please check Gym out the business, new Ben some Kingsley. Jim Bunny music business. Pro- produced by my 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 cousin, my beloved Michael Parkinson. Tight, you absolutely. know, featuring um, DV Alias Christ. Mm. Featuring Don Pacino of Killarmy, mm. Wu Tang Killer Bees, mm. you know, so like, yeah, man, um, Julio Iglesias as well. <laughs> Son, <laughs> <laughs> but like, yo, man, no, it's it's like that's the thing, man. Just have it, just have it ready, man. Just mm. have it ready. You Be know? ready. Yeah, that's that's my only thing. Other than that, it's all it's 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 water that flows, man. Mm. It's water that flows, and. I think I think that's that that's why this process has taken so long. I've just been so chill about it all. Because I I, I genuinely don't feel there's any there's there's any right time to release something or mm. do something. You know, I don't I don't believe I don't in my heart of hearts I don't believe in that. Mm. You know, I think it's just it comes out when it comes out. It, it does what it does, it does what it's supposed to do. Um and if you want anything more than that, you're gonna have to speak to the universe for the universe to get that back to you. We heard that. That's that. That's what it is. So if you need to check out some uh, inspiration, it's Bandcamp, isn't it? Where, 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 you can go, go to Bandcamp. Yeah. Um, you can go to all streaming platforms. Mm. You know what I mean? and just get it in. Get your dose. You That's know what right. I mean? The gourmet's there. Time to eat it. Yep, yep. Yo, the yep. fly who is this? Oh, big my shout out, my guy. Yeah, Come on. You, man. Big shout out to everybody watching. You know what it does. You know what I mean? Killer Killer Podcast, live and direct. All right. Sharing is caring. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. All right. Um, and, and, and yeah, don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. All right. Stay lucky, people. Peace. Mm-hmm.